Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Gospel Countdown. I'm Nina Taylor. And I'm Bishop Ernest E. Richard Jr. And what you're about to experience is the very best in gospel music as we go through the top 20 countdown. Miss Nina Taylor, you look wonderful yes. as usual. So Thank happy you. to be here Thank with you. you. How are things going with you? <laughs> Oh, everything is going great. Uh, we've gotten sort of a stable weather going on here in the Midwest. It hasn't been uh, near 100, but it's it feels like just, just a good summer. So we're real happy about that. I understand. <laughs> and here on the East Coast, we're experiencing the mid to upper 80s, but we're not going to get into that uh -huh. because, you know, the weather, <laughs> just like this chart, changes all the time. <laughs> so how about if we just Absolutely. get right down to business? Welcome to those of you that are watching wherever you're seeing mm -hmm. us at. We just so appreciative of the fact that you took the time to be with us today. Now there's a bunch of shows you could be watching, but you want to know what's going on in the latest and greatest in gospel music. And that's why we're here. So without further ado, Miss Nina, let's take them through. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start off with number 20. Mm -hmm. Now, she she and I have something in common. Uh -huh. My maiden name is Reed, just okay. like hers. Her name is Erica Reed, and her song is called Building. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Oh, no, what are you waiting on? Is what are you waiting on? She comes to us from uh, Missouri. You know, she's a small town girl. Um, just new to the gospel industry. She's very young. I'm excited for her and happy that she has a song kicking off the countdown today at number 20. And just to add to what you just said, her uh, mm -hmm. small town appearance has a big city sound. I got a chance to hear yes. the song in and of itself. <laughs> just, oh, wow. I'm expecting great things for her. And I, I know she's going to climb the charts. How high? We'll wait to see. Meanwhile, in the number 19 spot, he's actually up, just made it into the top 20 just this past week. Mm -hmm. Jordan Armstrong uh, with Erica Campbell. The song is entitled Call. This song is encouraging. I mean, just to listen to it. I'm, I'm excited for what's going on with Jordan and all that's happening in their life. And Erica Campbell, what else do we need to say about her? <laughs> Absolutely, Erica. You know, she has 20 jobs. Uh, she's raising a family. Yes. They're, they're running yeah. a church. They're doing so much. I don't know how she's doing it, but you know how we women are. We, we can wear 12 different hats and have 10 different jobs. All right, so congratulations to her. <laughs> uh, number 18, Zach Williams and One Accord, the song Jehovah Jireh. It is actually down a little bit. Last week they were in the number 16 spot, so we'll see if they can make their way back up the countdown again they're at number 18 this week but it's a great song really it like really it. is and i tell you i got a chance to see they posted a rehearsal in youtube uh and it was actually the pre-recording of the song and you know zach williams high energy one accord high energy and i pray it don't become quote unquote zach williams like six months from now because I'm, I'm <laughs> when I say that, it's, I have it one accord. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke, folks. But the truth yes. of the matter is they're on their way to being a staple in the gospel industry. Meanwhile, in number 17, Jabari Johnson, his song One Touch, you know, just doing what it does. And I believe yes. that he had a couple of uh, top 10 hits over the last few months. And this one is yes. no different than his other works. I'm just looking for him to just make his way up. And he's one of those, and I'm going to use your phrase because I've heard you say this before. He's going to be a <laughs> slow climb, but he's going to get there. Yeah. He is definitely going to get there. Definitely. So congratulations, Jabari Johnson. I'm wondering if he's still at the Potter's House. You know, he uh, the guitar player there at the Potter's House. I'm wondering with all the recording and he's doing this and doing that, if he's still going to be able to uh, do that. What well, do you think? And from <laughs> what I've heard and seen in past experience, uh, you know, the Israel Houghtons, you know, J.J. Harrison, we can go on down the line. Yeah. I believe that Bishop Jakes released him to do whatever it is that God called him to do. But at the same time, Absolutely. I believe he's he, he's one of those that's committed to ministry. Now, I'm not a musician, but if I were in his shoes, I'd want to be close to home because the fire is hotter at home always. 
Come on, let's just be real about <laughs> that. True. You know, you could be on the road for all 52 weeks, but when you could, there's nothing. Yeah. You know that little saying we had back in the day, be it ever so, uh, where is that? There's no place like home. Humble. Yeah, be it ever yeah. so humble. There's no place like home. And if exactly. Jamari Johnson was effective at home as he is on the road, I believe he's still home. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's awesome. Number 16 is the Bishop Marvin Sapp. Yes. And I know we mentioned this before, but we want to mention it again, that they're making a biopic of his life. Yes. Amazing, isn't it? So I, I hope that there's going to be more gospel artists. You know, I'd love to see a biopic of Shirley Caesar. Yes. Uh, we've already had the Clark sisters. I think they kind of paved the way for other artists, you know, to be, to be, uh, noticed. Yeah. I mean they've already noticed, but I love to see a biopic of John P. Key. You remember yes. he talks openly yes. about his past yes. history. I love to see a biopic about him, about commission, a lot of them. So I'm looking forward to that. This week he has the number sixteen song. It's called All in His Hands. We're loving on it. That's right. Looking for this one. It is making a slow climb. This is yes, good. It is. So we're looking for this one to make its way to the top 10. My goodness. Congratulations, <laughs> Bishop Marvin Sapp, holding down the number 15 spot. A friend of mine, yeah. uh, haven't talked to him in a little while. As a matter of fact, the last conversation mm -hmm. we had, I won't even try to remember that far back. We were at the Stellars when we had conversation. J.J. Harrison. The song is entitled Thankful, and I'm just excited for what God, again, is doing in this young man's life. Of course, you know now he's pastoring. Uh, he's not that far yeah. from me. Uh, we're both in Maryland, and we're probably about 15 minutes apart from each other. And, you know, God mm -hmm. is doing some amazing things, elevating him and taking him in places he's never been. So, of course, he's always going to be in our prayers for where God is taking him because pastoring is no yeah. easy job. And then he's on God the road saved. as a musician or should I say as a uh, director and the leader of mm -hmm. the all powerful. Uh, and I know people say they see JJ Harrison now, but youthful praise is still there. They're in varied forms, mm -hmm. but they are still there. So JJ, our love goes out to you. And like everybody else, our prayers go out to you. We look for even bigger and even better. And we look for him to crack the top 10 within the next two or three minutes. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens. Now, All right. 14, 14 is our girl. Yeah, I, oh, okay. So let me let you. You went into JJ. <laughs> <laughs> You see how you did? You went to JJ from Bishop. So I said, oh, okay, I must be doing dope. All right, so I'll do dope. 14 okay. is our girl dope.